Transmitted, reproduced, rebroadcast, or otherwise distributed or used in any form without the express written consent of the NBA. We got hoops! We'll have hoops for you a week from today from our nation's capital. Our coverage starts at noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific, and then it's the Dallas Mavericks on the road against Michael Jordan and the Washington Wizards. We're looking forward to that one as Mike, Michelle, Tom, Bill, and I will all be there. Mavericks rebounded nicely with two victories after getting two defeats just out of the All-Star break. See the shooting for the Kings, 8 of 12 in this quarter. Duncan outside. There's just no hesitation with Duncan. He gets the ball, he sees the play, he delivers, whether it's a pass, a shot, a dribble. No wasted motion, is it? 20 for Tim Duncan. Bibby outside. Stoyakovich <laughs> over the back. <laughs> Bruce Bowen is just getting beat up out there. Second foul on Stoyakovich. Well, anything inside 17 feet, this guy is as good as there is in the NBA. And right there about the 17-foot range. He doesn't go up past that very often, but inside that, boy, he is deadly. Why should he go out there? He's a post player. That's what Greg Popovich was talking to us about in the pregame meeting, was that we are a better team when Tim Duncan is down low. We start messing around with him too far out in the perimeter, and it just doesn't work. Rose with those long arms of Clark in the way. There's a follow. Nope. Offensive interference on uh, Duncan. What timing. What anticipation. What a mind. Bill, that was offensive goaltending. Timing could have been a little bit better. Yeah. He anticipated. Anticipation could have been a little bit better. He that anticipated the goal. That ball was coming right yeah, off. Yeah, it was coming off. His hands were there, and it would just bounce right back in. <laughs> Rivac left it off. Stoyakovich missed the jumper. Spurs down five. Bowen trying to cut into it with a three. Loves those corners. First basket for Bowen. Already. Couldn't have come at a better time. Lotte fakes the back door and does it himself. But Duncan will have the rebound. Great outlet. Who's Three running? on one. Rose. That's basketball. Yes. We're tied, fellas. Duncan, they attack him, and he forces the miss, gets the rebound, ignites the fast break. And Christie, as Tom said, he's hitting the big shots. That one puts his team back in front by two. Come to Duncan in the post. Rose got an open look from the elbow. Duncan got good position for the rebound. <laughs> got a little push, too. Rose keeps it alive. Spurs will have another chance. They play like such a team. Not a bunch of individual stars out there who you would pick out of a crowd. Rose, they leave him wide open again from 15. He doesn't even <laughs> think about it this time. What a pass. Parker. If you can deliver that kind of pass when they're not even guarding you 15 feet from the hoop, you've got game. Would you believe that Parker has 17? Doesn't seem like it, does it? Bibby. Remember the stat, when San Antonio gets 20 points plus out of Parker, they're undefeated on the season. Tied at 71, four minutes and change remaining third quarter. Clark trying to take it to Rose. Oh, Offensive foul. Perfect position by Malik Rose. Keon Clark's got oh, four. And there's no, no reason for Keon Clark to get in the referee's face. There's going to be reason for him to take a seat on the bench, though, with four fouls. Generally, you don't want Keon Clark trying to create his own shot from 19 feet away. Well, Malik Rose just plays defense. So, I mean, such good position right there. Not overly quick, but he's a smart player, anticipates where you want to go, and then beats you to the spot. Duncan set a nice pick for Parker, but he Ooh. missed the jumper. Long oh, rebound. Man. Long rebounds by perimeter players. What is standing? I mean, long rebounds are to be gotten a lot of times by the offensive team, but at least you want somebody pursuing the basketball. And blocking foul on Lotte Divac. He's got three. So he's got three, and Clark has four. Watching Tim Duncan work for position, 
putting the inside arm underneath to lift and push Vladi back out of the way. Keeps Vladi completely out of balance and position, forcing him to foul. Here's the matchup. Christie trying to help out. Duncan <laughs> says, get going to Ginobili. And then takes it himself. Now Ginobili, another rebound offensively. Well, he has been something off the bench. Eight points, couple boards, a lot of energy, good D. Nice pass. Little out of that range, but he dropped it in anyway. Jackson, Vlade, sweeper oh. with a finger roll. One of the reasons why Greg Popovich told us he didn't want Tim Duncan guarding Vlade a lot because Vlade, with those trick shots, very capable of picking up fouls. Vlade's got 16 points. We're down to a minute 20 in the third. Two-point ball game. Kerr gets tangled up with Jackson. And it's a foul on Bobby Jackson. Oh, we're talking about Vladi's moves early and how unorthodox they are. As a defender, you always suspect the guy that's rolling is going to go over your hand. Not under. Whoop. Gotcha. Got a little bit of everything yeah. in the bag, doesn't he? Yes, the eclectic he Vladi Divac, from his restaurant to his life, to his work in his home country, to his game. A little bit of everything. Interesting fellow. Here's a guy that doesn't usually ever miss a free throw. Steve Kerr's at the line. Last year was 39 out of 40 from the free throw line. This year he struggled to 18 of 21. <laughs> he doesn't get many opportunities anymore, but one of the great free throw shooters ever. Well, what a great job Popovich does of building a team around the superstar that he has. Intelligent guys who know how to move without the ball, drain open shots, and think. Spurs are plus 10 on the free throws. That's helped him to the lead. Three-pointer by Stojakovic would have helped the cause. Instead, it's Tim Duncan, and he's got another double-double. Big deal, right? Duncan never brings his arms down. He does, like Kevin McHale, does not need a lot of arm motion to deliver his jump. Rose, tough through a triple oh, team. What a rebound, Duncan. There's Duncan laying it up. Ginobili with a pass. Look how fast Duncan runs back defensively. Biggest. Anything he doesn't do. Biggest lead right now for San Antonio. That's a very difficult shot attempt. Yeah. No offensive rebounding. Jimmy Jackson just standing and watching the ball. Play the clock here if you're San Antonio. So much for playing the clock. Oh. Go for the three-point play. <laughs> Ginobili back-to-back. Yeah. Back-to-back <laughs> back -back assists to Duncan. <laughs> offensive board work has been the story for San Antonio in the third. They're getting posted up, and then they're getting pushed underneath their basket. The inability to contain the penetration is just freeing up Malik Rose, Tim Duncan. Ginobili has had a major impact on this game. Duncan has 13 points this quarter, 27 for the game. The last two buckets courtesy of that guy. Ginobili's got three offensive rebounds, and the Spurs have a foul to give here in the final. 16 seconds. Bobby Jackson bumped by Parker. There is the foul. 9.6 remaining as Mike Bibby looks on. Good defensive stop here for San Antonio. Keeps the crowd out of it during the quarter break. See if Sacramento can get one more bucket before the break. They trail by nine at home. Christie, baseline. That'll light him up a little bit. They needed that. So did their fans. As Tom said earlier, Christie seems to be the guy that's getting the big baskets. And they definitely needed that one. But it's been Tim Duncan, the MVP from a year ago, with MVP-like numbers. A 13-point third quarter. 27 for the game. What do you do? Is this play by Doug Christie enough to spark Sacramento at home, or will they lose for the second time to San Antonio this year? We'll find out. ABC Sports presentation of the NBA on ABC will continue after this message and a word from our ABC stations. The NBA on ABC at Arco Arena in Sacramento. Our game track looks like this. The two guys that have been carrying San Antonio on their record-breaking road trip are doing it again. Tim Duncan's got 27 points and 10 boards. Tony Parker, 17 points, 5 assists. 
Sacramento, oh man, how they could use Chris Webber now. We enter the fourth quarter. Getting it done in the fourth. They're two for eight shooting. They got three turnovers, and Duncan has only taken one shot, and he's missed that. Trying to skip a pass around Clark. It's kicked. Can't get him around those legs. <laughs> how long those things are, man. Are you kidding me? No field goals for the Spurs in over three minutes. Rose tried to change it, but Clark swatted it out of there. Parker, oh, good Bibby, nice defense. And here comes Bibby with Jackson. Trailer, trailer. What patience, Turgaloo. This guy's dying to play, and he pulls that one back. Bibby trying to leave it for Clark. How about three seconds? Vlade. How about Clark's <laughs> rebounding today? What hustle. Oh, man, those arms go forever. Bobby Isolate Jackson. here. Isolate. Clear the stride. Yep. Bobby Jackson with Duncan on it. Get it back to him. Thank you. Turkaloo. Off balance and over Parker. Six points in the quarter for Turkaloo. It's nine straight for Sacramento. And they lead by three. Well, Sacramento got away with one there. Because that was not the optimal shot. Great look inside by Rose to Ginobili. I'm seeing things from San Antonio that I have never seen these guys contribute before. Perimeter offense from Malik Rose. Ginobili continues to impress. Lottie takes it to the hole and is fouled by Rose. Turgaloo trying to make something happen here. The quickness of Tony Parker denies that penetration. And the guy who the last time we were here two or three weeks ago, I couldn't even get in the game. Now he becomes their go-to guy. He hasn't played in either of the first two ball games in this matchup. One time by coach's decision, one time by injury. Vlade Divac has hit all of his free throw. And now they're taking Turgaloo out. <laughs> so much for playing well. Vlade looking for point number 20 on the day. Has it. Perfect from the strike. I don't care if he hit his last shot or not. I'm going to have Stojakovic in the game. Tony Parker got to make something happen yeah. here. They've defended him very well. Bobby Jackson. Here's Duncan. Off the glass. And there it goes. The way he swings the arms through. So classic Michael Jordan. The, the, the great individual offensive guys. 30 for Duncan, a one-point game. Bibby, he hits it just inside the three-point line. Well, with Vladi Divac's work in the paint, getting to the free throw line, you have to come down and help. When you help, someone's open. Same spot for Duncan. This time, Jackson helps out Divac. Around the horn they go. What a closeout by Bobby Jackson. Rose had it blocked. Get in the air. Loose ball, Bibby trying to save it and can't. He and Jackson both hit the deck. Good hustle. No basketball for him. He's gonna give him a new shot clock. Full 24, call a change of possession. Tim Duncan, the rotation of the finger, signaling all kinds of time. We've been tied seven times. The lead continues to swing back and forth. Again, the help for Divots, but now it's Duncan on a slam over Clark. Oh, throw it down. <laughs> That's what I was waiting I for. I was waiting two. One time. <laughs> two. two for now, Duncan. That is a dunk. Bibby behind Divots. Pull up jumper. Got it. Bibby now starting to come to life in the fourth. 17 for Mike. Ginobili and Bowen need big plays if San Antonio is going to win this game. Again, the double team on Duncan. Somebody's got to be open if they pass it enough. It's Parker for a triple. No. Rose tracks it down. Oh, the extra possession late in the game, and that's something Malik Rose does as well as anybody that comes off the bench. Does Bowen want to shoot the ball? Comes the help on Duncan again. Steps. 
Duncan outside this time. Got it! <laughs> They're forcing Tony Parker left, and he's not able to get anything out of it. Fortunately, Duncan is the MVP and able to bail his team out, forcing a timeout for Sacramento. Timeout yeah. Sacramento. Tim Duncan's got 34 points. We've got 2.09 left. They are on the road again. Sacramento hoping the home cooking will help them in the last couple minutes. Well, you want to talk about an extreme... of the NBA Finals. Sacramento guys, before we get back to this game, let's talk to the NBA. Tomorrow's game on ESPN with Toronto at Washington. Michael Jordan's 40th birthday postponed because of the heavy snow in the Northeast. Game will be played on Tuesday, March the 4th. Game postponed for tomorrow in Washington. More on the weather in the Northeast coming up on your ABC stations. Local news right after this game. It's stepped out here on the coast when it's on at its normal time. Back to Brad the guys. All right, Mike, thanks. So, oh. Michael, I guess, can eat cake instead of playing ball tomorrow. <laughs> and that will also help the recovery and return to action, hopefully, of Jerry Stackhouse, who's been out with a bad groin. Tough loss for the Wizards at Utah the other night. There's the timeout situation. Neither team with fouls to give. We're at two minutes remaining in Arco. One-point game. Bibby, line drive, turnaround, and Rose will clear off the miss. Come to Duncan early in the shot clock so he can be an effective passer as well. There it is. One dribble and out to Parker. He wants to get it back to him. Crispy. On the baseline. Rose keeps it alive. And that's why they gave Malik Rose all that cash in the offseason. Seventh rebound for Malik, and that one none bigger than that one. Well, he's not just one of those offensive rebounds. It's a positional offensive rebounder. He's a pursuer. Pursuer. He will pursue the ball until someone has it. And if you don't put a body on him, he's going to get to the ball. And you watch right here. Keon Clark ends up behind Malik Rose. Big rebound, big free throws. And he is a good free throw shooter. 81% and perfect today. Five for five. And their free throws is what has them in the ball game. It's what's given them the lead much of the day. And it's what's tied it up again here. If they win this game, San Antonio, they will have beaten in succession out of the All-Star break. But normally you get a lot of sloppy games at Portland, at the Lakers, and at Sacramento. This is a remarkable run. They lead by one, and we're under a minute and a half. Lottie Divac has had a huge day with 20 points. Trying to sweep the lane and goes the other way over Duncan, but missed the shot. Malik Rose, another big defensive rebound this time, securing the possession. Tim Duncan putting that hand up defensively way too early, almost bailing out, letting Vladi get what he wants. A minute left at Arco, where Sacramento's 20 and 4 this year, but they've already lost to San Antonio once. Will it happen again? And Christie almost got undercut there by Ginobili on the He's backside. Hurt. Get the ball to Bibby. You gotta get the ball to Bibby and run the pick and roll with Vladi Divac. That was so successful early. Here's Bibby. Clark. Wow. Trying to find the handle. Scramble. Parker comes out of the pile. The oh. follow by Ginobili. Oh. Transition defense, San Antonio. Three points down, 30 seconds to play. Ginobili. What a contribution in all aspects. Bibby finds a seam. And the lane by Clark. One point game. Foul. 20 seconds. They got a got foul, a foul right now. They got a foul. Just keep Boy, moving. Up. They are killing themselves. And finally, Bibby, but it took Eight several seconds. seconds. Eight seconds. They could have fouled at 21, 22 seconds. Boy, you want to stretch the game out at the end. You have to foul immediately. And you can see right here, Keon Clark. I'm not sure there was why a... Keon Clark at the end of the game on a post up. But Tony Parker just explodes and nobly got the tip in. Parker's got 18. Spurs as a team have missed only two free throws all day long. He's perfect. Six for six. Missed that one. Who's going to get the loose ball? Ginobili does. They got a foul. Grab him. Got to hurry. <laughs> Tim Duncan may be the MVP, but the MVP of this game's their bench. Ginobili and Malik Rose. 
Ginobili's got six boards, five of them on the offensive glass. Where is the attention to detail? The box out. Like an MVP before injury took him out of this lineup, can only look on with suit and tie instead of Sacramento uniform. And on the other side, a guy playing like an MVP. Can he help San Antonio to its eighth straight win on the road? He has 34 points. Tim Duncan has been sensational. The nice teamwork of Christian Vlade to hold the hands to keep it from splitting. But in the end, it comes down to who's got game. Who's got the footwork? Who's got the skill? Who's got the touch? Who's got the leadership abilities? Today, it's also come to who can throw it down and who's got teammates. All those answers come back to Tim Duncan. Can the Kings find a way to get three here in the final eight seconds? Bibby will take it for the tie. No. Malik Rose. Rose is all alone underneath. They'll foul him with 2.6 left. Where's Paige Stoyakovich for a shot like that? I mean, he's only the three-point king two years in a row. He was on the floor but never touched it. Following us in 2.6 seconds, the free throw parade continues for the San Antonio Spurs. The winning streak on the road continues for the San Antonio Spurs. Whether Willie Nelson sings it or not, <laughs> they have been on the road again, and they will win on the road again. I'm out. I know who Willie Nelson is. I that guy's you, good. There you go. He's got game. Five-point ball game. And wow, what a trip for San Antonio. They trailed by one at halftime. They trailed by as many as 12 in the first half. And from the free throw line, and then just too much in number 21. And they lead now by five with just 2.6 left. The work on the offensive boards by San Antonio, particularly in the second half, where they had 14 offensive rebounds. Ginobili, Malik Rose, Tim Duncan, his ability to tip the ball to himself, to his teammates. And the Spurs having a plus 13 advantage in made free throws has put them over the top. Robertson, one of the 50 greatest players in NBA history. It is incredibly difficult to move beyond a player of that caliber. But they look like they've done it to me. Well, everybody's pitching in. I mean, they got a lot of guys pitching in. Today it was Manu Ginobili, and it was Malik Rose. Tony Parker has been carrying the scoring load. So San Antonio continues the unthinkable. An NBA record eight straight on the road. They win at 104-101. ABC Sports is online at ESPN.com. Keyword ABC Sports. Now except on the West Coast, stay tuned for the World News tonight, Sunday, or your local news over most of these ABC stations. With